Lowndes County deputies have been working to slow drug activity across the county. They're hoping a major drug sweep that happened this past Friday put a dent in it. Yeah, WCBI's Holly Emery talks to the sheriff and district attorney about the impact these stings have on the fight against drugs. These people keep continuing to commit these type of crimes and here in Lowndes County, we're not going to tolerate it. 25 people were arrested Friday morning during a major drug sweep in Lowndes County. It was the culmination of a 15-month investigation. The people that we had on our list to arrest had 304 prior arrests, including 45 felonies and 259 misdemeanor arrests. So these people that are committing these crimes they're career offenders. Most had been arrested for drug crimes before, and Sheriff Eddie Hawkins says nine have already been bonded out and have been released. District Attorney Scott Colomb says there has to be a focus on keeping suspects from becoming repeat offenders. We're just back in the cycle because we, the sheriff and the ends up arresting them, we end up prosecuting them, they end up going back to that same system. It can feel like a, a unsuccessful cycle. So as much as we can try to interrupt that, and have a little bit more local control because we have to deal with the local consequences of it. District Attorney Scott Colomb says the key to keeping criminals from being repeat offenders is to improve education and rehabilitation for those who have been incarcerated. As much as possible, we want to try to get people that have found themselves in the spiral of drug use, the public help they need to no longer be a harm to themselves and to their family and to the community. If the Department of Correction gives permission to the sheriff's office, then people at the county jail can be uh, held while they're serving uh, time and be offered services that are locally controlled. Hawkins and Colomb say it takes more than just the judicial system and law enforcement to change the cycle in the future. This whole operation stemmed from the community reaching out to us and giving us complaints and tips on people that are dealing drugs and so that we can actually get out here and investigate it and actually bring them to justice, then it's going to make our community better. Drug addiction is a, is a tough thing to fight, but the first step is recognizing there's a problem. That takes partnership with the sheriff's office, uh, with the courts, and also with the community. In Columbus, Holly Emery, WCBI News. And the Sheriff's Department continues to ask for the community's support to help them in the fight against drugs.